Nick's gonna kill me when he comes home. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. And here's Brycey, cause he always has to be right with me if I sit on the floor. Are you biting my ear? <laughs> Stop sniffing my feetsies. Okay, okay, I know, I know. It's very exciting, okay. So today's video, I'm sorry about my dog. He's just crazy. So today's video is a fireplace makeover. Um, how many times are you gonna go from the floor to the couch? Okay, lay down, lay down, lay down, please. Your ass, my ass. So today's video is going to be a farmhouse style fireplace makeover. I have painted our fireplace and done a faux brick tutorial to show you guys. And I'm not sure if I'll include it in this video, but I'm also going to make a faux wood beam as a mantle. And I went through step by step to show you guys how to do the faux brick on your fireplace, all of the supplies that you will need. And I did this on a very small budget because if I wanted to spend a lot of money, I would have gotten somebody to like re-rock the fireplace or do brick on the fireplace. But the purpose of me doing DIYs is to be as frugal as possible. So that's exactly what I did. I show you guys a pretty in-depth step-by-step process on how you can do a faux brick to your fireplace as well. This is the first time I've ever done something like this. So it was really trial and error. and anybody can do this it was not difficult at all doing faux brick is not really something you can mess up because bricks aren't perfect so you'll see what i mean um in the next couple of clips because i was nervous about doing some parts of it but you can definitely do this and you can do it on a very small budget so let's get into the video all right so this is the materials list that you will need. I am standing on top of the bench in my dining room to get this shot for you guys. <laughs> so I will also include, um, after I show you all of these materials, I'll include a blank screen with text on it so you can screenshot it and take it to like Home Depot with you or whatever. So you're going to need white paint. This is going to be the grout lines for your brick. So this is what you're going to paint your entire fireplace with. I'm also going to use this at the end and paint the fireplace surround. So a white paint you'll need. This is just some leftover that I had exterior flat ultra pure white. You're going to need a polycrylic finish. I will seal everything when I am done with this polycrylic. And then to make the different colors of my brick, kind of like a washed out brick look, I got three different grays. If you want to do red brick or brown brick, obviously you would go with different shades of reds and browns, but this is what I got. These were from Walmart. I believe they were 50 cents. Peter gray, country gray, and granite gray. Uh, you'll need a paper plate to put all these little paints on, or if you have a paint tray, whatever. I'm just using paper plate. These basic sponge brushes are from Walmart as well, like 80 cents. What I'm gonna do with this is dry brush with the sponges. You'll need a pencil. You'll need 0.94 inch. Um, I, this is like a Scotch blue painter's tape. So 0.94 inch painter's tape, something to open your cans of paint, a paintbrush, a paint roller, and a level with a ruler on the side. This is like the most important thing because this is going to give you accurate lines. And then I also just have this rag here as well because I kept needing to wipe my hands on something. So I grabbed a rag as well and also a trash can because when you rip all your tape up, you're going to need to put it somewhere. So also a trash can. This is another material that you're going to need. It is joint compound. 
This is a huge container that we had left over from when we spackled walls in our house when we first moved in. You can get a really small tub of this for less than $10 at like Home Depot or Lowe's. So you just need a little bit of this and you're also going to need a spackle knife. And this is what's going to give you the look of brick. It's gonna give that rough texture. So definitely don't skip on this step because this is what's gonna make it look really real, like real brick. Here is a clip of the before of our fireplace. And don't get me wrong, I think it is a beautiful fireplace, but it's just not my style. So we are going to transform this baby. All right, everything is taped and ready for paint. I'm going to paint white all where this tan marble color is. And I would highly recommend that you do use painter's tape so that you don't get divorced if you get paint <laughs> all over the floor. So highly recommend you tape. Whatever color you want to be like your grout lines for the brick is what color you're gonna paint the tan. Oh, excuse you, no problem. So yeah, whatever color you want to be your grout lines is what solid color you are going to paint this. I want my grout lines to be white Therefore, I'm gonna paint this background white. I have finished painting the marble white. I can't believe how off-white our fireplace is. I always thought it was like a bright white color, but it's actually cream. So that's really different to see. Um, yeah, so I painted this white and then once this dries, I'm going to tape my brick lines. My bricks are going to be three inches by eight inches. So I'm gonna tape that up and then I'm going to put the joint compound over it. And then while the joint compound is still wet, I'm going to start pulling off the tape. I'll show you in the next clip. So my white paint is dry and I'm going to go ahead and measure. I'm not using my tape measure. I actually have a small level that has inches on the side so I'm going to go ahead and measure three inches down um, the whole way and do the lines for that and then I'm going to do eight inches for each of the brick and I've never done this before so this is just trial and error don't be afraid to just do things everything can be fixed with paint, whatever. I'm just winging it, really. You're definitely going to need a level because this is how you're going to be able to create a straight line across. And then I have little pencil marks so that I know where to line up the flat side of my tape when I go across.
to do three down from the bottom of this tape line because this is going to be your grout line. So then you're going to have another three inch brick underneath. Alright you guys, so I didn't film the vertical taping, but you get the idea. You're going to basically each brick halfway point, you're going to make a piece of tape vertically down. So halfway between each brick. And then luckily like these just worked out. I'm just going to keep them just bricks down. And then here I did the same thing. Eight inches across and then put a piece of tape and then on the next row I did halfway between each brick. To be honest, I didn't even measure any of this from the first row down. I just eyeballed it and did halfway points. So came out pretty good. So the next step is to use your joint compound and I'm just going to slap it on there. You do not want the joint compound to dry because when it dries, you will not be able to pull up the tape. So I'm going to work in small sections. I think I'm going to just do this top half first and then work my way down just to get like a rhythm. So I'm gonna do up here first and of course, do not let it dry all the way. And we'll see how this goes. So far, I'm really liking it. I think the pattern came out very nice. This is the part I'm most nervous for. I don't know why. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put like a little bag down just in case. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. to be so flat. Bricks are not flat. They have those bumps and grooves all over them. So just wing it. because then it's gonna give it this like, the crinkly edge that brick has. So I think that's working pretty well. Oh God, Nick's gonna kill me when he comes home. <laughs> this is probably going to be like the most challenging part. I mean, unless you can't put tape up, that might be challenging for you. But this seems like the most challenging part. I mean, uh, actually I haven't gotten to the tape yet. I mean to the painting yet, but this is coming out pretty good. I'm going to show you. I'm kind of just smacking it on like this and it's giving it like dimension. You want it to be kind of like bumpy and lumpy. So that was how I started and you can see it's very flat. This is more the look of brick, like that rough edge. So I'm gonna keep going on this side and 
make it a little more lumpy. All right, so those are done. I'll show you a close up of what they look like. To be honest, I'm terrified to pull the tape off. <laughs> I don't know if it should dry a little bit more. I guess I'll just try. I don't know, it looks okay. All right, I think I need my trash can. to like pull all of it off but that's not the case you can start pulling it off almost as soon as you put it on it looks so good oh my god i'm pumped about this Look how nice that turned out. Shut up. <gasps> All right, I'm going to finish this, pull off the tape, and I'll show you guys how it, how it looks. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, you guys, the lighting isn't the best. It's getting a little bit later in the day, but this is turning out so good. I am thrilled. Let me see if I can block. I still have this light over here. Here are the bricks. I am so excited. I think it's turning out beautifully. So in the next clip, I will show you guys how I'm going to paint a few of them. I'm not going to show a clip of me painting every single one. This video is already long enough. So I will show you guys how I'm going to go about painting each brick and then we will go from there. Hi you guys, it is the next day and I have started on painting the faux brick on the fireplace. It took about a whole day for the joint compound to dry. So now I'm just going through and I've done one coat of the darkest gray paint that I have and I'm just using this sponge. It's actually starting to rip because of how rough the joint compound is, but that's fine. I'm finding it's going on very well because it picks up the dark color where it's rough from the joint compound. It's not meant to be perfect, so don't be scared to just put the paint on. I am putting paint on the paper plate, so I'll just like dab a little bit of paint on the paper plate and then I go like this. And I take most of the paint off and I will show you on one of the bricks how I do this. Hopefully I can get a decent angle. So I'm just literally gently going over it like this. And because the joint compound is pretty rough, it will pick up the color pretty well. And another thing to remember, sorry, this is like a lot for my brain right now. <laughs> Another thing to remember is that you can go back over any of this with white paint. If you did like too dark of a spot and just try not to like stare at one of the bricks and think like, oh, that looks terrible or whatever, because you're going to go over it with a couple other colors of gray 
and brick is not perfect. It's not going to look 100%. Bricks are meant to be messed up and different colors. So I'm gonna keep doing that, do all of them gray, and then I'm gonna go over them with these two lighter colors that I showed you in the beginning. And we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, so I did the brick and I went over it with, I'll show you the order I did. So first I put a little bit of this on the paper plate and I used the sponge brushes. As you can see, they got really like cut up because it's rough on the faux brick. And you just basically dry brush this on very, very lightly, you put it on. Then I went in with the next darkest color, the country gray. And this is kind of what gives it that like darker, dirtyish gray color, which I really like how it came out. So then I went um, in with this color second. And then this was the third color that I went in with. This was the lightest color. It almost has like a very pale blue sheen to it. So the granite gray was the last color I went in on. And let me show you like one of them, for example. So this was the first color that I went in with. And then this was the second color. And then this was the third. So you can see how they layer and almost look like, like not like dirty, but it gives it like dimension having all three different colors. It's not like you just slapped some gray paint on there. So I think it came out pretty good. I'm going to let this dry and pull up the blue tape and then I'm gonna paint this around a bright white. I'm not going to add in a clip of me painting it bright white. You, I'm sure know how to paint white. So <laughs> gonna go in and do that and then I'll show you guys how it looks when I'm all done. So I am finally almost done. I have to put a second coat of white paint on the perimeter of the fireplace here. And then I am going to make a faux wood beam. So I'm not even gonna bother painting this top. So I have to do a second coat here, but otherwise I'm finished and I cannot believe how good it turned out. Here's how it looks kind of like with my decor. And I'm seriously so surprised the difference in the paint color. Like all this time I thought our fireplace around was white, but clearly it's not. <laughs> Here is a little close up, all the faux brick. I'm really loving it. Really loving it. So that is going to conclude the faux portion of this fireplace makeover. In the next video that I make, I'm going to show you guys how to do the faux beam. And I think that will really make the fireplace tie all together and look more uniform. So I'm really excited about that part of it. And I'm going to paint the fireplace around a very bright white color. So definitely hit that subscribe button so you can see how I make the faux wooden beam. And then after that, I think I'm going to do like a dining room tour because I'm super excited about how our dining room is really transforming and all that good stuff. So definitely hit that subscribe button, like this video if you found it helpful, and let me know in the comments below if you decide to tackle your fireplace and do a faux brick, um, do like a faux brick wall or a faux brick fireplace as well. I would love to see that. Um, follow me on Instagram at Genevieve Wright, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.